So I and hello, this is again Alan the Forex Algo Trader and in today's lesson we will take the courtesy to explaining to you the input params or rather the input parameters of our blacklist trader expert advisor M24 expert advisor in this case that we have recently released into the market in this case. So yeah, let us get started ASAP then. So the first thing, I'll just click on the experts properties over here so that uh, it is displayed in this case. So just go to the navigate to the input section. So the first thing is the EA input settings here as uh, you can see. And these are the crucial settings for these expert advisor to work fine in this case since they do have some significant effect or uh, impact in this case on the future control of the expert advisor or of the aforementioned expert advisor or EA in this case. So the first input parameter we have over here is a system choosing. You can either choose to use system A or system B as uh, you can see. Then the next thing that we have is uh, the initial settings the, for the initial lots or the trading volume which is 0 0.01, the default one. Then the lot multiplier we have 1.5. The magic number you can do as of your choosing. The, we have the zone range points and the zone target points in this case because this is a multi-girl system that just makes use of the zone recovery in this case then again we have you can choose to either we have a boolean function over yeah i think how many i think the rest are four five boolean functions that you can use the first function to show the trading levels in this case you can either have it as false or true in this case then again you can either not only can you use the trading levels in this case the stop loss and the take profit but also you can show them to the broker you can display them to the client trading terminal in this case then from here you have the draw zone levels in this case it is by default set to true so that uh, you can view what is really happening to the EA that you have attached to the chart in this case. Then from here we have the time filter section and then you can choose to print the statement to the journal so that again you can do a follow up in this case. Then from here we have the indicator filter settings where you can either use uh, choose to use the stochastic indicator in this case or the rsi or the marked indicator in this uh, case since because the expert ad advisor just makes decisions based on its uh, own algorithm behind the scene then from here uh, you can choose to support the decision made by the ea by using either the stock rsi or marked uh, in this case then after there we have the indicator parameter settings that are uh, that the user or the the ea controller in this case or the trader in this case can choose to use at this time then we have the rsi settings as well as and marked settings as well then we have the trailing stop of course which is now by default set to true so that uh, you can you can protect your gains or uh, already gained profits in this uh, case then from here we have the trailing stop points the trailing gap points and then the trailing step or the advance points in this case which is by default set as zero but uh, you can be advised to, to set it at uh, maybe one ten or else you didn't fit in this uh, case then we have the time filter in this case you can either display the time filter as a comment or not uh, display it at all on the chart in this case which just uh, if you set it to force it just like uh, save you some resources for your machine in this case then from here uh, it is just like uh, those are not the initial settings or the uh, all the settings they are not as complicated as uh, someone could imagine in this case so then i'll uh, just like uh, reset everything so that we work with the default settings then click on ok then from here i can run it on the tester as you can see i have my blacklist trader uh, selected then the symbol or the currency pair is a uh, audsd australia dollar versus the us dollar in this case then we have a period of 15 minutes then 
spread for the current in this case and i'm running it from at the start of this year 2023 january to the current time in this uh, case and i will be running it in a uh, visual mode over here so that uh, everything can be clear as well in this case so right now i'll just like uh, i want to do any optimization over here that you can do by yourself in this case and then i'll just like click on start in this uh, case then you can wait for the update to finish and then i'll just like uh, leave the expert advisor to to run in this case so resources are being collected in this case and then there there we are in this case so right now i can just like uh, you can see the expert advisor the working of the expert advisor in this case so yeah <laughs> i'll just like uh, leave it to run and then to and and once it is done or uh, finished in this uh, case you can just like uh, i'll just open this this graph over here so that you can see over the time period of uh, nine the last nine months it's a uh, performance in this case so yeah <laughs>